Chennakesava Temple, as the name says, is Vaishnava Temple dedicated to Keshava with all forms of Krishna depicted and sanctified in 13th century. It is built and sanctified by Somanatha, an army commander of Hosala King Narasimha III. The architecture style followed is Hoysala, which is more prevalent in Karnataka. Hoysala architecture saw the best during 11th to 13th century. This temple saw the ending notes of endless sculptures earmarked on remains of more than 100 temples, including the Grand Balur and Halebidu temples. This beautiful Keshava is resting in Sovnathpura in Karnataka on the banks of the river Kaveri. The main temple is in the center of three symmetrical sanctums depicting different forms of Vishnu and mounted in a courtyard with pillared corridors with small temples. Uniqueness of temple's architecture is detailed and protruding sculptures in the lintels, ceilings, inner and outer walls. It narrates the lifestyle of people, nature and grandeur of the kingdom during those days. History of all temples in India repeats the same story of wars between kingdoms and this temple was not an exception. Surprising factor is, all detailed or protruding artwork outside the pillars are damaged and you cannot see nose for most characters in the carvings. Somnathpura is a small town named after the great general Somnatha behind the temple. Somnathpura is located east of Mysore city, which is surrounded by lush green paddy fields and on the banks of the river Kaveri. Hosala kingdom, which lasted three centuries, contributed immensely to our Indian architecture, including the very famous temple tower style. It is always a surprise how they made such detailed sculptures on stone, including the well-carved pillars. As the famous saying goes, it is all in the design. 